Rosie O'Donnell lost her mind over Kanye West's support of President Donald Trump, which caused Chance the Rapper to say, black people don't have to be Democrats. If the African-American vote is swayed even 2 percent, the Democrats are finished. So, Rosie launched into a tirade, calling Trump a f-king moron and telling Kanye he needs to wake up from his Trump illusion, but boy did she get a nasty surprise. A horde of Hollywood celebrities took to Twitter this week to slam Kanye West after the fashion designer and Grammy-winning rapper expressed love and support for President Donald Trump. But, Rosie O'Donnell took it to another level, as only the hefty actress can, after West's attempt to encourage people to challenge conventional thinking. The Kanye West tweet that spurred Olay Rosie to have a meltdown said, you don't have to agree with Trump, but the mob can't make me not love him. We are both dragon energy. He is my brother. I love everyone. I don't agree with everything anyone does. That's what makes us individuals. And we have the right to independent thought. Maybe Rosie is upset Kanye West referred to Donald Trump as having dragon energy, although, with Rosie, one really can't pinpoint what sets her off, just ask Sarah Huckabee Sanders. Rosie devotes a lot of time to painting horrendous likenesses of the White House press secretary, but we never know exactly what Sanders did or said that caused such sick artwork. But, I digress. Rosie didn't counter Kanye's tweet with one of her infamous paintings, at least, not yet, but rather, she had a burst of raw emotion, posting, "Hess a fucking moron Kanye, wake from the illusion. Wake up from the illusion? Wow, that's rich coming from Rosie and her ilk of leftist nutjobs. They are the ones not in reality. It's been going on two years since he won the election, and they still can't get over the fact that Trump is the president. Rosie, of course, epitomizes the rabid Trump hate that so many in the Hollywood crowd show. Although she may be crazy, she's not stupid. She realizes that if there is an awakening within the African-American community, it would be curtains for the entire Democratic Party. This is why you see Democrats constantly conjuring up fake racism cases. It is why they want all minorities to believe Republicans, conservatives, and libertarians are all Nazis. Candace Owens, the African-American conservative activist who jolted Kanye with her viral video, is also under attack for exposing the Black Lives Matter movement and mentality. She said some African Americans are focused on their past and shouting about slavery and that others are focused on their futures. Victim mentality is not cool. I don't know why people like being oppressed, Owens added. We're oppressed. 400 years of slavery. Jim Crow. By the way, none of you guys lived through that, she said to protesters. Your grandparents did, and it's embarrassing that you utilize their history. You're not living through anything right now. You're overly privileged Americans. Amen to that. Ms. Owens called the snowflakes on their crap, and it rang true for Kanye West and Chance the Rapper, who backed up Kanye, tweeting, Black people don't have to be Democrats. Rosie's ugliness and her vile tweet to Kanye West caused Trump supporters to give her a nasty surprise. Immediately, the leftist comedian's Twitter feed was filled with negative reactions. It looks like Kanye agrees more with Ed POTUS about his opinion of you. It looks like Kanye is off your plantation, tweeted Twitter user Mpitz. African-American conservatives have coined the phrase Uncle Sam's Plantation, referring to the Democratic Party which keeps them in slavery, dependent on welfare, living in the ghetto, so they continued to vote for Democrats. 
Bourne Hancock tweeted to Rosie, writing, The last time I bled it was red, what color was it last time anyone else bled? Skin tone has no bearing on true love by which we are called, it comes from the heart. So take your race-baiting identity politic bullshit and get out if you can't wake up. You're a fascist communist Rosie first take free thought, then free speech, then books then guns. You're right on track, sick, with Hitler, Mao, and Stalin. Almost 100 million of their own countrymen dead. While in power, tweeted I am right. Conservatives and Trump supporters say we don't care what the Hollywood crowd says. And, we don't, but this really isn't about the Hollywood crowd. It's about African Americans. The Democratic Party co-opted the black vote back in the 1960s with President Johnson's The Great Society. This was the beginning of welfare as we know it and all the other expensive government programs that we don't need. Now, there are voices, like Candace Owens, who are asking the question, why are they still on Uncle Sam's plantation? If Kanye West and Chance the Rapper can reach a few brainwashed voters and make them think, then I'm all for that. Here's hoping those stuck on the Democratic plantation see the light and get on the Trump